I guess you could say over the years I developed a liking to over the top loose trucks. Started back in the almost end of my stereo days. Just get more more in tune with just the essence, you know, just carving and, and kind of like in its own way create more challenge for me. I don't want to know I'm going to land something or else I don't want to try it. I like the mystery of will I make it? Like, I don't know. My shit's fucked. But if I do, sick. <laughs> you know? But I like the way it sounds and I get high off it. It just gets me psyched, like, knowing I'm doing shit, you know, to whatever degree anyone wants to see it, but in my own world, it's like, I'm just having fun and getting high off whatever I can manage on this thing, you know, and knowing that ultimately I'm challenging myself to the fullest, you know, this is it, I'm going out like this, the shakes, but it's cool, it's not for everyone, but those who feel it, feel it and know it. And that's cool too, just like I did to those who did it way before me, back in the old school days. Big up Ricky, Jeff Tolan, many other Sacto dudes. But yeah, and uh, if you want to try it at home, which I encourage, please do. You just got to take both bushings and cut them in half so that the bolt will stay on. Or else, if you try to ride them this loose without cutting it, your bolt your bolt's always going to be falling off. But just take both both bushings, cut them in half with a razor blade, go around until they're basically chopped in half each side, each one. And you'll ha you'll have this play, but then know you're gonna get this play. So there's a lot of a lot of play you're gonna be dealing with. Ultimately, it's pretty fucked. But yeah, it's fun. Let's just say it's a ride, and it's to be enjoyed.